Hey there. All right, we're back. Starfish and I and Crosby got a mysteriously at 80 to 88 quarter notes per minute. So clearly I'm butchering that because it does not, it doesn't feel musical to me. It just, it just doesn't. I know I'm terrible at this. And the other thing is kind of, it's still in pianissimo. So... I don't know if that matters. Excuse me. If I'm, if I'm, because so there's there's another aspect, another wrinkle that I gotta maybe think about. Because I think what I'm doing is, yeah, I'm sure I'm playing that first one kind of quiet-ish, but then I'm getting really loud and really, you know, playing it kind of hard and fast. Um, but I wonder if I need to be trying to focus on keeping the whole thing quiet, pianissimo. I probably do. <laughs> One of these days, I'll maybe look it up and learn the correct way. Because even though I'm not truly enjoying this particular song, I'm sure there are pieces or songs or whatever, um, in the future that I'll play that'll have glissandos and it'll be nice to know the correct way to do it. Anyway. And then the other thing I'm trying to do so these do alternate. This is my forte. And then this comes back down to piano. And then it stays at piano. Which can be a challenge when you're moving around. But the first, so the first time through, I noticed we we're going here and then to here. And I, some of the notes didn't even sound like this one. I know didn't sound the D didn't sound. So it sounded like I just did. Um, which was just all kinds of wrong. Anyway, we got 10 minutes, 10 minutes to do this today. That was way too loud for pianissimo. Well, maybe not. I mean, so you can really get loud. And there's only so quiet I can do it where it has to actually sound. All right. Oops. Too 
So I do one, two, three, four, five, six, because it is a fermata. And with the click, the kind of cheaty shorthand way to do that is just double the note value. And it's a dotted half note, so three, one, two, three, and then the fermata, one, two, three again. I guess. So this this is the the piece that's absolutely standing out and absolutely interfering with the flow because I still have to keep the time. I still have to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. It's an eighth note, and I'm not counting eighths, but I should still be able to do it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, no, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. I think part of it too is I'm not, I didn't strategically position my seat um, so I could come over here a little easier. Especially when the third note is, a, or the fourth note is a C. It's a little bit easier with this one when it is a, that should be an A sharp, but is it an A sharp? Yes, that's an A-sharp, but then it's not. Oh, never mind. It is. It's So what's throwing me off again here is the fact that this bottom staff is a treble staff instead of the normal bass staff. So I'm looking at it, and I'm kind of thinking, well, it's the bottom staff. And when I glance at the bottom staff, which is normally the bass clef, uh, that's a C, the second space is a C, but since it's still a treble clef, which it changes to a treble clef here at the end of uh, the fourth measure, and it stays there until midway through the 14th measure where it comes back to a bass clef and in fact the top staff also has a bass clef for <laughs> about a measure it's it's over two but it starts a third of the way through um measure 14. anyway how about that we made it to 10 minutes. <laughs>
Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hoorah.